If you were selected to receive this video today, it means that your guardian angels have a very important message for you. Your soul plan is trickling up through the multiple planes. You should cleanse and detox. The angels say, Today's message is about cleansing, purifying and detoxifying your physical body. Your body is a channel, a sacred conduit. It's a channel for the divine, a vessel for spirit and higher consciousness ideals to flow through. You can't expect to channel higher vibrational energies or new thought forms while your body is in a polluted space. The mind, body, emotions and spirit are interlinked. A deep cleanse is in order to purify your system. Your archangels want you to be beautiful inside and out. This is not suggesting you follow superficial or stereotypical notions of beauty. This is not about physical looks. This is a message of health, fitness and holistic well-being, honoring your emotions, inner psychology and inner spirit. Of course, your physical body needs to be up to par to vibrate on a higher frequency in other areas. A new daily self-care, health and fitness routine is in divine order. I repeat, your soul plan is trickling up through the multiple planes. You should cleanse and detox. You have become muddied with impure thoughts and belief systems. Your body is like a river yet there's trash flowing through it. This is from your diet, lifestyle choices, daily self-talk, the stories you tell yourself and the conversations you have with others. It's also from what you watch, the bad habits you've picked up and any addictions you hold on to. Addictions can be pharmaceutical or recreational drugs, relationships, drink and food choices, sexual fantasies, porn, sex addiction, or toxic mindsets and behaviors. Imagine the feeling of waking up every morning doing daily yoga or chaikam. Imagine the sensation of the sun hitting your face, radiating out onto your body and filling your heart with warmth. Visualize waking up fresh and alive with vibrancy and a sense of wonder and inspiration. See yourself sitting in meditation with inner peace and tranquility. Imagine the wonderful fruits in front of you, exotic fruits from all corners of the world. These fruits fill you with life force and vitality and supercharge your rainbow body. They activate hidden senses, feelings, emotions, belief systems and memories within. They awaken vital life forces combined with memories of brighter days, days when you had no health problems and no stresses. They reawaken dormant DNA that speaks to your soul and your cells tingle and come alive. Exciting opportunities and fresh perspectives surround you. They fill you up with joy and creative inspiration. Are you starting to feel the limitless potential of the universe, dear one? Good. Inspirational energies are within and around. There's so much to be joyous about. There is an unlimited capacity for joy, hope and happiness. Inspiration is everything and everywhere. We're living in a creative world. You are a creative being of light and sound. You are deeply in tune with spiritual and primal energies, whether you know of it or not. The euphoric sensation of waking up each morning, paying attention to your divine vessel in a godly way, a queenly or kingly way, is utopia here on earth. Everything begins and starts with the physical body. Again, you are a channel a sacred conduit or channels. Sublimity is called for now, and this signifies paying close attention to the details in your life. 
you need to pay deeper attention to the little things that make up the whole. Your life purpose, path and passions depend on your state of health. Well-being is psychological, emotional, mental and spiritual. The angels have sensed that you've become so wrapped up in a stressful and busy lifestyle that you've forgotten the importance of real self-care. Depth, slowing down, rest, centrality, self-expression and introspective activities that ignite your soul. A polluted physical vessel numbs your senses while also dulling your mind and emotions. Your spiritual life force and vital energy need to shine too. This can't be achieved when you're always speaking from a survival mindset or acting from flight or fight mode. Living from your root chakra is not your destined fate, dear one. You did not incarnate into this amazing time and age to be a servant, emotional dumping ground or wall to others' projections. Staying stressed and constantly busy at the expense of your need for rest and rejuvenation makes you such things. People think it's okay to treat you like dirt because you have neglected your well-being. When you act against yourself, succumbing to stress and burnout or perpetual worry, you give permission for others to treat you in a less than favorable way. You essentially say, I don't take care of myself, so why should you have any care for me? Your heart, emotions, spirit, soul, mind and body are important. The physical world of 3D distractions, chasing money or fame, and physical aspects are only one element of life. They are important, but they should not get in the way of your bliss. Focus on serenity, tranquility, peace and self-love now. Choose in this moment to become the best version of yourself through healing mantras, regimes and daily habits that serve you, not work against you. Make the conscious decision to be more mindful of your actions, habits and speech. Become more self-controlled while not being a control freak. Rest, sleep, naps, taking it easy and unwinding with a book, feel-good movie or cup of tea are advised in strong doses. Take measures to relax and soothe your nervous system so you don't fall into traps or unnecessary self-sabotaging blocks. Self-mastery is what is needed to soothe out blocks you've unconsciously created, as well as barriers you've put up to prevent further heartbreak. You've had your heart broken, you have ached, cried, and processed suffering on a real level. Yet now your task is to heal from this, moving away from a past painful cycle and opening up to fresh new opportunities. Many people support you. You have many loving and supportive connections who see and cherish you. There are many people who want you to succeed, thrive and prosper. But firstly, you must create a sacred inner space. Sacredness within leads to purity around. To nurture intimacy in the outside world, your inner world must be in an elevated vibration. Your frequency should be aligned to some godly righteous or divine vibration, as this is how you create abundance, love and friendship in the material realm. Take charge of your health, align with service to others and keep in mind the rest, play and work balance needed for longevity. You are capable of living to 110 plus. It all starts inside with cleansed and activated DNA. Purified DNA is a cord to the holographic realm where you can access your Akashic records and become the best version of yourself. There are subtle insights available which can only be accessed with strong bodily systems. Your circulatory, skeletal, muscular, nervous, respiratory and endocrine systems need more care. 
some TLC and sensual self-expression are in order. Go deep within yourself to activate dormant DNA, ancient memories and self-knowledge that can help you. I want to end with a prayer for you. Lord, we lift up the one who has received this message, seeking your divine guidance and grace for them. Their guardian angels have spoken of the need to cleanse and detoxify their physical vessel, and we implore you to grant them the strength and determination to embark on this path of self-care and well-being. Help them release impure thoughts, harmful habits, and toxic influences, that they may shine with the light of inner peace and vitality. May their body become a sacred conduit for your divine love and purpose. Amen. Take a moment to allow all these words to resonate with your spirit. Remember, you are loved and protected by the universe. Type 999 to claim this message and the blessings inside for your own. Try and leave a positive comment for other viewers who might need a positivity boost in their day. The universe sees it as an act of kindness that fuels the cycle of good karma. You'll be spreading positivity and receiving the universe's blessings in return. Let's uplift each other and create waves of good energy together. I also want to pass on a time-sensitive message from the moon to you, and you need to hear it today. A subtle yet powerful energy will push you to make a critical decision by the end of the week. You won't find the answer in your horoscope, so don't bother looking there. Click the link in the description to see your free personalized video moon reading. I was amazed at how accurate my reading was, and I know you will feel the same. An important message is waiting for you in the next video. Will you hear it?